Welcome back, folks, to the Nile Emperor here in Fish and Planet at the Congo. This is an hour-long comp. You can use only spinning rods, uh, and you can use boats. Uh, so just so you know, this is a maximum weight difference between the smallest perch and your biggest perch. So it is based on a lot of luck, guys. <laughs> um, anyway, we will go over here. I'll show you the setups that I use. Now, um, we actually did a stream. That, uh, you guys have seen me stream this one very recently. Um, I do mix up what I use a little bit. I generally, I use the green and blue rib shad, or my favorite, the glow-in-the-dark shad. You can actually use the, these rose rib shad as well. The big thing is, is a Texas rig on an unanchored boat, so they don't fight too hard. And uh, this is the setup I use. And then for the small one, I actually use the three inch rib shad on a number one or a number three um, offset hook, guys. So if you're wondering what the setups are, and I will show you the spots that I do. Now for the little one, what I do actually is I will cast out to this mark, the same as I do the uni mark here, um, except for I do will do stop and go kind of in the middle. If I'm going for the big ones, I am doing stop and go near the bottom. Um, but this is a spot that I also get my little one at, and I kind of do more towards the middle for the little ones. Now, with that being said, here is the marks, guys. You can catch four uniques after you get your little one, and you're hoping your little one's less than 40 pounds or 19 kilograms. Um, but anyway, here you go. This is the marks you can pause these if you want to put these in um in in uh in your map as well um and uh you can see here they are now you can kind of do these whatever order you would like to do on a good run you're going to catch four this is actually the boat mark for this spot but this is actually my favorite spot up here uh to catch them because you don't have to fight them there's not really a wall up here and that makes it a lot easier than the waterfall. But the waterfall is really nice to get your little one at. And uh, this is uh, the moat mark for over here. And none of these spots overlap. And you can get four unique. Sometimes I get four a lot. And then there's times where it's real slow. And I might get only one or two uniques. Anyway guys. Hopefully you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time folks. Have a good one.